Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Matthew Bramlett, and I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at the University of Illinois. And what I'd like to describe for you is our virtual reality medical education tool. And what you see here is sort of the blank space. This is actually a reproduction of my uh, lab here at JUMP. And what you see over here is a board of all of the different lectures that we've pulled into here. And what we've created is this education, virtual reality education tool that allows us, without any coding experience, without any big budgets, to just come in and bring in the artifacts, the 2D and 3D artifacts that we're going to use to impart our expertise in a very immersive platform. And so if I'm going to pull up for you Let's see, I'm, uh, as a pediatric cardiologist, let me run through and find a good, uh, P so here's Peds Echo Trainer. So I'm loading into the system this moment of uh, lecture. So I previously pulled in all these files. You can see that they're in a certain format and uh, location here because that's how I set them up. They all came in as individual files, but I put them into this location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to press play, and you're going to see and hear me when I originally recorded this. This is a brief tutorial of how we can... So rather than running through all of it, I'll just show you the 4D capabilities that allows this interaction to occur. So you can see these glasses as this, you know, very simple representation of where I was when I was teaching it. And by re having that recorded like this, that allows the learner to come in and explore and under try to understand the content in ways that they otherwise would never be able to. Like, for example, we can say, let's blow it up to the size of a cave and take a look at it from inside and explore through the, the, just the anatomy to really have that moment of discovery that otherwise is very difficult to achieve. And no matter what I do, I can't mess up the recorded lecture. So I'm going to press play and you're going to see it snap right back to so we're what I was to... talking about at the time, which is apparently how to get a, a left ventricular outflow tract view, which I go on to describe by even overlaying the image onto the uh, study. And so if I, if, as I've just taught that, I can also map to task-based assessment, where I just said there's LVOT, tricuspid or pulmonary views, and now they can read the question, which arrow correlates to the standard view of the LVOT. They can select it and instantly get that self-corrected uh, corrected feedback if they had correct, asked the wrong question, they would see the big red X and know that they had not gotten it right. But it's not just what I can build. It's what anybody in our entire system can come in and build. Here's our lecture on EKG training, where we're tackling the entirety of EKG from start to finish and beginning to build this lecture that we're going to allow ourselves to just build on top of and more and more. And you can see this is Dr. Uh, Hello, McBee Orzelak, I'm Francis McBee Orzelak. I'm who's going into the first w section, which is gross anatomy. And, you know, never before have we had the capability of showing the SA node, the AV node in 3D. And I can see the right bundle branches to this direction and how the left splits into the anterior and posterior fascicle. Just the, the capability. Uh, Dr. Mishler goes into cardiac vectors in this uh, lecture and then into EKG vectors as it relates to the patients uh, over here. And again, we've got the EKGs on the patient and I can kind of pull up so you can see how those are related to the, the patient and the skin in manners that we've just never been able to do before. So this is our medical education tool, and I hope you uh, enjoy it.